What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Sheltered Stasis. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here. Let's hang out for a little while longer and see what we can accomplish in this rusted out wasteland. Things are, things are not going like super well, but they're not going like absolutely terribly either. Like we've got ourselves a fancy toilet. I mean, that's a good thing. Like, I mean, how often do you get to have a fancy toilet? I'm going to assume that somebody's out on expedition right now. We've got mutants in the farm. we got to fight them because I need the stuff out of the farm, unfortunately. I don't want to fight, but the game is going to make me fight, and so we're just going to do it. Rawr, mutant. Uh, go ahead and shoot him. Oh, good, you missed. Fantastic. Well, I guess hit him with a plank of wood until he falls down then. That's not good. There you go. Deal some deal some damage to this dude. We, we gotta work this guy. We gotta work that jaw a little bit. I was gonna say, man, I really, really hope that the damage gets spread around ever so slightly. Because if it doesn't, we're about to have like a really big struggle on our hands. It's about to be a really rough day. I will take that. Yes, it's good for salvage or whatever. There's a little bit more strength for the dad monster. A little bit more dexterity as well. Uh, if we can get the dexterity up, that'd be fantastic, though. Like, I need him to be better at, like, shooting nading. Uh, we've got a transmission over here with some new items. We've got rubber. Like, how much are we carrying right now? We got 20 is what we're carrying right now. 20 out of 20. We need some more boo shit. Uh, what is that good for? Anti-radiation remedies. Okay. Uh, throw out anything that's just, like, salvage or whatever. Like, I would like to have the raw objects. Better than anything else. Like, give me some of that wood. Give me a little bit of that metal. Give me some of that pipe. Giggity. And then we have nails. We have screws. Or, I'm sorry, we have springs. So, that's good. Other things that are up inside of here. I will take the rope, I guess. Like, I don't honestly know if the salvage is a better plan at this point in the game. Like, maybe I should build a recycler. That's what I'm thinking, is, like, maybe if I could build a recycler, we might be able to bring something on in. I guess bring plants, too. Yeah, I'm done transferring items. We're going to try and avoid combat from here on in, because I don't think people are going to survive it if there ends up being more combat. So he's headed down to the turlet right now. Got ourselves a little bit of a... Got ourselves a little bit of a turlet situation. She's ready to go. How are the crops looking right now? Are the crops moist? Good. They are in the active world of growing right now. It's raining again. Is that good or bad? If I wanted to upgrade the water filter, how hard is that to do? I need circuit breakers. I need switches. We do have a decontamination thing that we can do right now. I think that's probably a good idea. Take suit two and then upgrade that to be decontaminated. As soon as you get done, we're going to go over to the workbench. And I kind of want to look through and see what I can build around here to make my life a little bit easier. Rat traps I don't think are going to be incredibly useful right now. The makeshift recycler I think is what I'm leaning towards. So if they get back, we're going to have some more pipes. Let's focus on finding some transistors. How do I make a how do I make a better recycler? Is there like a next level recycler, like a recycler that's like off the off the chizzity chain? There we go. We've got that one right there. But I think maybe like a basic one is probably a good idea. Uh, I will collect the hinge from right there. If I wanted to fabricate some objects. So that gives us a little bit of salvage, but not very much. So I think the salvage items, that's where that comes in, is that we're going to need, like, some of the goodies over here. Alright. I mean, I don't think concrete's going to be that useful, because I don't think we can expand the base at all. Like, if I wanted to make some leather, I'm going to need... God, I need all kinds of stuff to make some of this stuff happen. Feels bad. Okay. I mean, we've got some busted cloth right there. Yeah, I don't think the fabricator is going to be that helpful for a little while. I want to build a recycler. That's what I want to build. Uh, you go get some food. We're a little bit low on it, but at least we don't have to feed a pet. Sometimes you got to feed a pet. And, like, if you got to feed a pet, man, they go through a lot of food. The cat and the dog. God, man, when you're playing on normal mode on, like, a higher difficulty, that dog eats so much food. Little bastard eats so much food. So his infection went away. Mark's infection went away, which is fantastic. That's like next level good. That's the stuff that we're it's the stuff that we're looking for right now. You put on the suit, go upgrade the decontaminator. I might have you do some repairs or something while you're out here too. Just in case. We got a medium dust storm going on. Do we have a mop and a broom around? We do. Okay, clean the shelter after you drink the water. Yeah, cancel that and then clean the shelter. They're calling in. We've got some free items right here, which is great. 
Uh, we've got homemade antibiotics on that side. We've got a circuit board. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I want the circuit board. We probably need the valve. A little bit of cloth never hurt anybody. I think that's a good idea, too. Books are good to bring back because they get rid of our stress. And then on top of that, oh, we got some more garlic, too. Nice. So that'll help out with our antibiotics. Used by humans for 7,000 years. Part of the Amarilla Amaryllidaceae family. Why are these names so big, man? Why can't you just say it's part of the garlic family? Like, why do botanists always have to make everything so complicated, dude? Just call it what it is. It's part of the botany family, Brody. Just, like, accept this. Accept this. I don't know if I want to recycle into a small amount of wood right now. Definitely need more storage space. Hopefully I'll get enough points from this adventure to where I can, like, fill up the backpack and make it a little bit more robust. We've got a battery right there. The batteries are good for making ammo, and I think I'd take a good battery over a busted battery any day. The nylon, probably useful, but not what we're looking for right now. Uh, what was their what was their path? What are they doing? They're going like around the horn right there. And where are they actively at? They've got three more locations to hit. Okay. We got that big city over there. I'm going to let them do their thing, and I'm going to kind of go around the horn with it. Hopefully we don't get attacked by another bad guy out here. Upgrading that sounds like a pretty decent plan. And we've got a shack out in the middle of the forest. Okay. Sometimes you find a shack out in the middle of the forest. Uh, examine the items. I'll probably have her run away and go back inside once she finishes the upgrade. What is that? A ginger root? We can make food poisoning remedies? Alright, we'll get the book first. Get the rubber. Get the nylon. Get the wood. And then... Take the nails... Run away, run away. I don't want to fight him right now. Like, I don't care if I've got to finish the repair later. I just don't want to fight him right now. Yeah, just go take a sleep. Like, I, I don't feel like dealing with this. If it ends up being a breach, it ends up being a breach, and there's nothing I can do about that. But for the moment, I think I would rather just let him kind of wander the apocalypse up there. He's not coming down, so that's good. The zombies are kind of a mess in this, man. And I don't mean that, like, in a bad way, like they're programmed poorly or anything like that. So don't take that out of context. All I'm saying is they're kind of a mess in the sense that, like, one of those guys can really, really mess you up if you're not careful. We've got fertilizer, produce larger yields when fully grown, useful in the planter. Yeah, I would love to make, like, some, some Xanax or something down here to maybe help. Reduces the chance of animal encounters by 90%. I don't think we have that yet. Circuit boards, circuit boards, circuit breakers. Okay, so circuit boards and circuit breakers are what we're going to need for the guns. For the batteries, we should be good right there. We need honey and animal fat in order to get that done. That's not entirely true. You just need animal fat for the most part. Like, it's just rendered animal fat. That's all that it is. Like, you like, I think you melt it off, and then you put it in hot water... And then you scrape it off the top, you clear the tub, you do it again. Like, I, I don't know the exact process for making soap, but I think I could bullshit my way through it if I had to in a survival situation. I think I could bullshit my way through it. I don't know. I'll probably try fertilizing one of these next time. Go ahead and water that real fast. It says that it's growing. As does that one right there. So, like, water the plants, and as soon as you feel better, we'll try something else. He's still in a weakened state. We found a mutant in the police station. What should we do? Uh, sneak away. We'll have to skip out on the... We'll have to skip out on the route, but... It's no biggie. They're already full up on loot anyways. So I'm not that paranoid about it. Like, we can give up some loot right now. That's not the worst thing that could possibly happen. Go ahead and get patched up right there. We've got more mutants. No, sneak away. Do not fight with the mutants. Yeah, don't... Especially if it's just like an extra combat, like an ancillary combat that doesn't have any effect on what we have going on right now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste a bunch of time on it. A little dust storm right there. we got plenty of water, though, which is great. Uh, yeah, go through the police station. See if you can find anything there. What do you have for me? What do you have? 
Examine the item. So we got a busted pistol so we can make another laser. We've got some basil. We got some aloe vera. Yeah, bring along like everything you possibly can that stacks first. And then we'll go back through here. And we'll try to figure out what we want to... So I definitely want the pistol more than I want the clothing. That sounds like a really good plan. We'll take the pistol over the clothing. And then... I mean, as useful as the other stuff seems, I think I'd rather just have them head home now. Like, they've got a pretty good haul. How far in are they right now? Yeah, recall them back home. Yep, recall them back home, like, right this second. And then you're done right there. Go ahead and upgrade that one more time. We didn't lose any of the loot from it because... The enemy didn't come around. We've also got a busted filter over there. So that's done. We finally upgraded that. Uh, go down, drink water right there. We've got a bunch of worms running around, which is fantastic. Um, He's eating my crop right now, isn't he? Yeah, I'm going to need you to come down this a little faster. Uh, attack the worm, please. Don't get water first. Just attack the worm. We can't afford to lose the food. Did they just, like, bail out? Yeah, go attack the worm. His health isn't good enough. Like, we can't really do much right there. Oh, yeah, they ate my food. Lame, dude. Super lame. I guess Mark can be in on it. I don't know if it's a good idea, but... These things do have some soak to them. They got a little bit of defense to them. Those hard shells are tougher to deal with than one might think. They only deal like one damage at a time, though. It depends how much damage goes out to the kid. If the kid can stand his ground, I think he'll be all right. Yeah, like, he'll, he'll do okay as long as he keeps landing those counters. The worms themselves are not inherently that dangerous. Like, they're a little dangerous, but they're not that dangerous. It's the chance of bleeds and other stuff that really gets you into trouble. So that's one worm almost down. They are almost exclusively attacking him, which sucks. I wonder if they're picking their targets right now, man. It seems unlikely that on a 50-50 roll, like six times in a row, they pick the guy that's weak. Like, maybe I'm just being a little bit salty. But I'm kind of having trouble six times in a row now. On a 50-50, they've gotten tails. I think that they're targeting it. Yeah, keep that going out. That might be our only chance. We just need this damage to happen. I think there may be some shenanigans afoot. Definitely some shenanigans afoot. They're getting to pick their target right now. I would bet my life on the fact that they're picking their targets right now. And I can't do that. Like, I have to attack randomly, which makes things a little bit more complicated. Uh, let me get the worm skins or whatever. Mark's probably not feeling too great. But Mom did level up, so that's good. She's got 10 decks now, which is pretty wild. Hopefully he doesn't collapse after the fight or need to go to the doctor or anything else like that. Uh, go take a shower real fast. Don't use soap. We don't have time for it. And then you need water and sleep. Okay, drink the water. That plant is still okay. That plant is a little bit busty right now. I don't know. Maybe harvest it and then replant it possibly. Like we've got enough seed going around right now to where I don't feel that bad about it. We'll try to, I'm going to try and fertilize this one actually. Oh cool, it finished off like right around the time. Yeah, plant seeds and fertilizer right there. So they've returned back home. That means we're going to need a bunch of showers and a bunch of other stuff. Water the plants. Make sure that the soil is nice and ready to go. That's not ready to be harvested yet. Oh, it is. Good. It tells you when it's ready to harvest. Nice. I harvested early last time then. I feel kind of like a scrub for doing that, but, you know, I, I, I don't really use the planters in my main game. Normally, I'm able, even on hard difficulty, to scavenge more food than I need. Uh, so we searched a bunch of locations. We got some kills. Traveled some distance. Maybe the hazmat suits are going to end up with some better stuff. I don't know. Take all the goodies up out of there, and we will confirm that. 
with the transfer. Uh, the suits probably just need to be charged. There wasn't too many fights that we went through. Go ahead and take a shower down here. Uh, with you, he's weakened. But I think that should work out okay. We got a bunch of people that need to take showers. So you go sleep first, and then we'll deal with food in just a minute. Uh, that has been planted. Plant some seeds over here. And then water the plants. Make sure that they don't need to be watered any further. I think we have the ability to make more fertilizer, possibly. I don't know what the yield is likely to be if we go with much higher fertilizer amounts, but I suppose we'll find out. She's crashed out. I would like to make better beds at one point or another. Like, if I could craft myself some, some much more acceptable beds. We'll deal with that in just a minute. It's got 17% on it. We should be able to get that fixed before anything else goes wrong. I'm just trying to get all the needs taken care of of all the people who just came back from the war, essentially. Uh, he needs sleep and he needs food. So after he gets done there, go ahead and eat some food. After you eat the food, go take a sleep. After you get done sleeping, go take a shower. And then for you, you're not really doing anything anyways. Do we have nicer beds anywhere on the list? We got a bunk bed right there. Foof. We've got the coolant that we need to make the main booster. So we could start that, I guess, if we felt like it was something that needed to happen, like right now. I think the lockpick set is not a bad idea. It might help us get into lockboxes and stuff. Good stove might be a plan, too. I think they automatically cook the food when it gets made. We need transistors in order to make that work. How hard is it for us to fabricate transistors? Like, did we bring back any busted stuff that's going to make that easier? Not really. Not inherently. Got a little bit of that right there. I can't make any more planters either, man. Like, it's kind of a bummer. Like, they've removed a lot of the choice and a lot of the crafting that you can fiddle around with from, from this particular scenario. And so, like, I find myself wanting to build certain things to guarantee our survival, and you just, you just can't, as far as I know. Was there another planter in here? I thought for sure there was not another planter in here. We can make some pretty dope beds right now. We can make upgraded beds, so that's nice. But yeah, I don't think there's a second planter in here. Like, I'm pretty sure planters are locked off in this playthrough. So we can't make more planters. You basically have to make do with the two that you have. Uh, she needs to sleep. Go ahead and get some rest in. He's a little weakened right now. He's going to go take a nap right after this. Yeah, make us a stove. I, I think that a stove is a good investment for right now. Yep, go put it right by the bed over there. So we can set up expeditions, but we can't really do much else on that side. We got a bunch of people sleeping right now. She's basically done sleeping, so go take a shower. You sleep real fast. There's always kind of that rough period, like after they get back from an expedition where everybody needs to be healed and everybody needs to be taken care of. The ground is still moist over there. We're probably going to have to run around and do a whole bunch of repairs, too, on some of the stuff that we have in our base. So there's our stove. I'm going to need you to clean the shelter. You go grab yourself some food before things get too crazy. Yeah, she'll cook right there. And it'll make the rations go a little bit further. It doesn't help too much, but it helps a little bit. We're sitting on 80 water right now, which is absolutely fantastic. I like to have like 300 plus water because you can use water in the normal playthrough as like a throwaway trade. That's what I use it for anyways. Uh, the soil is still moist. You're still sleepy. She's still hungry. Okay, we'll go eat food. You go use the toilet. When you get done right there, go drink some water. He needs to go to sleep. Hoping we don't run into bugs or anything too soon. I'd rather not deal with the worms, man. The worms are... It's just like extra attrition that I don't want to deal with. And somebody's got to fix the air filter. So take suit two and go fix the air filter, please. I mean, honestly, the water filter needs to be fixed, too. Take suit two and go fix that. There you go. 
Like, put as much effort into that as you possibly can, because if the air filter goes, we're all going to asphyxiate. And despite the word fix being inside there, it actually doesn't fix you, it breaks you. Uh, it's not, it's not something that we want to go for. Uh, go ahead and take suit four, and then, I mean, don't harvest that. Go over and fix that, too. So if I wanted to make a recycler, I need more transistors. So we are going to have to go out on another expedition. Don't think we're going to have a choice on that front. I think we made the lock picks though, already, right? Didn't we? Or did the hinges get used right there? The hinges got used right there. All right. Okay. Things to keep in mind. Uh, we've got a good stove. It's not an excellent stove, but it'll do for right now. I would love to have that ready to go so that we can start throwing, like, you could take, like, microwaves and you can take, like, screens and you can take laptops and whatnot. And if you put them in the recycler, you actually get, like, the raw pieces out. And so it's a good thing to have. That's still busted, huh? How bad is it? It looks pretty bad to me. It looks like it needs a pretty significant... Yeah, hit it with a hammer. That's exactly how you fix a complicated filtration machine. You just smack it with a hammer over and over and over again. Ye old Russian strategy. Just beat that thing with a hammer until it works again. Submarine not work. So I go down to bottom, I hit submarine with hammer, it come back and it work. And now we able to monitor American again. That's how you make it happen right there. She needs a shower. Oof. Everybody in the club got problems. Everybody in the club got problems. Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot of people right now that are, like, ready for action to go out on another expedition. But then again, with the map the way that it is, it's kind of... It's kind of like long haul or no haul, you know what I mean? If I wanted to update suits, we can get some transistors up inside of here. With the editation... Storage would be nice. Oh, we have a PowerPoint. Yeah, do storage then. Yep. Does everybody get a point? Uh, maybe go with... I think a little bit of armor would probably be a good idea too. As soon as Mark is feeling better. I think I gotta send out other people too. Like, I think you can't use the same group every single time because I think it's kind of like an internal... XP counter, because right there it's got our upgrades locked. Uh, those are wilting. We'll go water them real fast. Definitely don't let those wilt. That's our that's our that's our buttload yield right there. I definitely don't want to waste that. Uh, Mark, can you make some fertilizer for me, guy? Now we need worm husk for that. That's okay. If we can keep that on. Oh, there's a breach encounter. Where is the breach encounter? Yeah, I guess. That's fine. Um, equip a pipe or something? Yeah, that's cool. And ourselves a little zombie defense action happening here. That's okay. These guys are my weaker combatants, and so having them in combat a little bit would be nice for some extra XP. So he blocked that attack right there. Hope for a counter. Yeah, we got it. That's the good stuff right there. That's what I'm talking about. Yup, gotta hit him with that. Gotta hit him with that Bruce Lee action. Just watch uh, If we could have a flawless victory right here with no damage taken, I would appreciate that from the universe so very much. Thank you, universe. You came through for me. A little bit of extra strength there for our small, murderous, and yet incredibly angry child. That's good. Did you guys finish this off at the surface? So filter's good. Integrity's good. All right. Come return your suit. Come return your suit. Put it back on the rack. That's how you know I'm old is because I used to watch Three's Company like every single day. I'm telling you, man. Getting old. So oh, look. Another breach. Even better. Is he eating my bed right now? You little piece of shit. You little bastard. Yeah, get down there and see if you can help. No guarantees, but I don't want them, like, eating the durability off my stuff. These worms are voracious, man. They just won't stop. Uh, attack that worm. Definitely don't let them get at the food. 
If they get at the food, that's not okay. I don't want them, like, at the food. Don't at me, bro. Don't at me. Hopefully we'll be able to put these down. I think the enemy variety in this scenario could probably be ramped up a little bit, too. Like, I, I definitely think that that would help out with, like... So far, all we fought is worms and zombies. I don't know if there is more stuff, or if that's all there is on offer right now in this, but I, I would like to see more enemy variety. I think enemy variety would very much spruce this up a little bit. Oh, he blocked it. Wow. Cancelled out my entire turn. Feels bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Feels bad. Feels very, very bad. This is what existential crisis feels like. This is what it feels like. Yeah, just finish that. Th oh my god. Are you for real right now? You guys are getting dunked on by a worm right now. Like, you guys are getting absolutely choked out by a worm, my guy. I need you to, I need you to put a little bit of effort, a little bit of backbone into this. Like, these things need to be dead. We still have a full health bar to deal with. An entire health bar. Not like half a health bar. Not like a quarter of a health bar. A whole health bar. And if they strike off a bleed on one of these guys, too, that's actually what I'm more worried about than anything. I just don't want anybody to bleed. I wonder if I can speed up combat a little bit, too. The combat's pretty rudimentary, so I don't need to see, like, a play-by-play -play and slow-mo of what's happening. I think that if I could speed that up to, like, double or triple speed, I'd, I'd like it a little. Just wow, 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 wow. Just finish the fight real fast. Like, I can extrapolate what happens based on watching the health meters. This should be the kill right here. Perfect. And actually, that may supply us with enough to maybe possibly get us there on some more fertilizer. I'm trying to have some bang up harvests out here. That's what I'm that's what I'm that's what's most important to Splatty. Splatty, what is best in life? And probably making sure that we don't get eaten by giant death worms. I'll go ahead and drink some water and then sleep. You are apparently going somewhere. Fix the beds while they're sleeping in them, please. You fix the turlets and the showers. I want everything to be in tip-top shape for right now. That's not fertilized. That's growing and it's moist. Good. Just kind of bang stuff out real quick. The rocket assembly computer. We do have some of the parts for it, but like I don't think we need to mess with it right now. I don't think it really matters. Uh, what kind of upgrades do I have over here for the air filter? So we've got some valves. We've got some resistance. This over here... Durability is in pretty good shape. If we could get some leather together. Actually, we can go with decontamination, I guess, if we get acid rain or whatever. It might help out. What is that a picture of? And also, do I need that to be there is my other question. So he's over here welding a bed while we wait for everybody to wake up. I think we might actually be out of time. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for another episode of Sheltered Stasis. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In between getting my ankles chewed on by giant worms and the never-ending zombie horde that seems to be intensely interested in eating our brains, it has been an interesting episode. There's been a lot of combat. There's been some real combative throwdowns happening. But I think we're going to bounce back. I think we're going to be okay. I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you for stopping on by. Hi, dude. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Check out the game down below if you wanted to play it for yourself. And that's all I got for you today. Bye, everybody.